Hi everyone, seems you're frowning the questions at me good and proper these last couple of weeks. I know it's all central eating problems right at this moment because of the bad weather. But this one that I thought was quite worthy of sorting out and this one has been sent in by another subscriber to ask me what speed should the central eating pump be set to? I've noticed that there's three speed setting on it. What is the best one? So let's have a little look at that, shall we? Okay, so the usual setting is to stick it in the middle, isn't it? Number two, medium setting, and leave it. And probably I've been just as guilty over the years of just setting it there, and away you go. But that's not always the best thing when you think about it. If it was set to three, you'd think, well, it's going to whiz around there really quick and heat those rads up faster. But that also can have a detrimental effect, firstly on your electric bill, because it will be running a lot harder and faster. Secondly, it will wear the pump down quicker at that speed. Uh, you would also get a return temperature to the boiler that's quite high. Now that's not a good thing if you've got a boiler that is a condensing one, because you must have that return temperature at 55 any higher, and you won't get the saving with the condensing action of the boiler. So that's another thing. Also, lastly, it is a lot noisier running a pump at high speed. So that's a little negative for that one. So we're back running it at the slower speed then. Obviously, the slower speed means that it may not have enough oomph to get right around a big system with lots of rads and we'll just simply run out of steam and it'll end up with lots of rads not getting hot. Another little thing that could happen also is the boiler could actually overheat and that would be as obviously just as serious in that your boiler would cut out and you would be back to square one and obviously that return temperature if you have the condensing boiler would be nowhere near hot enough it won't be on the 55 which we need for the condensing action so you'd lose out on that one so that's that's a no-no as well isn't it <laughs> let's have a look at medium shall we medium hmm. medium then is the one we tend to set it to and most of us plumbers set it to medium and that is it but not necessarily the best setting there's three speed settings on that pump for a reason and that is that you may have a system that's got a heck of a lot of rads on there and it may actually be better off using the high speed you also may be living in a flat or somewhere a small apartment that's only got two or three radiators then you would actually be better off using the slow speed setting so how do you find the best speed setting for your system yes there is a way firstly open all your radiator valves flat out turn your room thermostat up to maximum turn the pump to number three the fastest setting and turn everything on now okay once all the radiators are red hot should only take about 10 minutes at high speed turn the pump down to the lowest speed setting so at this point go away and make yourself a cup of brew whatever wait 20 minutes and then go run all the radiators and see if they're still hot now if they are then leave it on the low setting if they're not set the pump to medium setting another 20 minutes another cup of tea maybe or a pint <laughs> if it's the evening why not uh, at the end of that we go around and see if the radiators are still hot if you find the radiators are still cool after you've had them on medium setting then set the pump to high you just may have a really big system that does need the oomph of the speed up higher. This is what we're saying about central heating pumps, that medium is the general standard for most houses and probably right for you, but you may find that low is also the setting for you on smaller places. And you could be wasting a lot of energy and power pumping around on the wrong speed. So pump speed is quite a big thing to take into consideration. The other thing you've got to take into mind, of course, is that we're assuming the system is clear of sludge and blockages and things like this. We're not looking at uh, any problems with associated blockages, which is a different thing altogether. If you worry about that, then you will need your system cleaned right out first before you could even do this little test if you're worried that the system is old and could be possibly clogged up. Because obviously, none of that will work properly. <laughs> I've just told you, we've got sludge in the system. And just one other thing, I know the other good thing about pump speeds, just before we let go on this one, is when you have got a system that is slightly sludged up and not as clear as it should be, it's quite old, then it can be handy to have that extra speed 
to set the pump to. And I know it's not good, it's not the way out the system should be cleaned really, but it may get you over a hurdle for a little while until the pump kind of wears down trying to push all the sludge and muck around. That gets you over a little hurdle for a little while, but it doesn't cure the problem. One other thing the pump is useful too with these speeds is when the pump's getting on a bit and it's 10, getting on for 20 years old and it's kind of wound down a bit as a pump does, the motor's gone down um, so you could use that third speed to give you that little bit of an oomph the fact that you did have uh, and again you may get another few years out of the pump just keep it lasting a little bit longer so that extra speed is a useful item to have on there isn't it okay that's it then Usual place for my videos. Thanks for watching. It's uh, getting near Christmas now, so I must say a uh, happy Christmas to you all as it's the 19th of December. And just by the by, it's actually my 45th, 45th, get it right out, wedding anniversary today. How about that? How did I do it? How did Jan put up with me this long? <laughs> Who knows? See you next time, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>